The Alliance for Change believes that Assistant Police Commissioner Clifton Hicken, who is performing the functions of Commissioner of Police, should proceed on leave in light of the investigation into high levels of corruption and financial impropriety within the Diana Police Force. It seems, with all the allegations being hurled around, and the documents to support them in the social media from whistleblowers, that the top posts of the GPF are highly coveted not because of a desire to serve and protect, but because these top posts open doors to extraordinary power and riches. What is worse is that the PPP government wants it that way all the same, AFC executive and member of parliament, Kemraj Ramjatun said. Mr. Ramjatun believes that in view of these appalling, disgraceful developments in the Guyana police force, the government should immediately have an independent, top quality investigation be done as to what happened, how come so much monies have gotten into the hands of these officers, and how were the contracts awarded. Those suspected to be involved must all be asked to go on leave, lest they interfere and pervert the investigation, the AFC executive urged. President Irfan Ali has extended Hicken's tenure, which officially ended on July 22, 2023, but Mr. Ramjatun believes there are sufficient grounds for Hicken to retire. Because you also want him to go on leave, pending the investigations, and also because of the fact that he has reached the age. You suffer the deputies that ought to arise when you extend a life, and I have been in public with this for over 20 years. Assistant Police Commissioner Calvin Brutus has been sent on leave following allegations of financial impropriety that have been leveled against him.